A surprise announcement making waves on Wall Street. Tesla CEO Elon Musk says he's thinking of taking his company private. Musk made that announcement on Twitter and instantly rocked the stock market. The tweet came just before 1 p.m. saying, quote, am considering taking Tesla private at $420, funding secured. That price values the electric car maker, which has yet to turn a profit at more than $70 billion. Tesla stock shot up by $15 a share just after that tweet. Trading was halted just after 2 p.m. as the SEC tried to figure out if Musk was actually serious. It resumed 15 minutes before the close for an 11 percent gain on the day. KPI X5's Len Ramirez is live at the Tesla factory in Fremont with some reaction tonight. Len? Well, Ken, a lot of people are wondering whether or not uh, the CEO of Tesla broke any rules with his tweets announcing that the company could be going private. A lot of other people, a lot of Tesla fans around here in the South Bay saying that this might be a good thing for the company, allowing the uh, company to uh, get the company up and running at speed and not have to worry about investors. With one tweet, Elon Musk sent the stock market into a frenzy. Quote, am considering taking Tesla private at $420, funding secured. Those two things taken together really kind of sent the market, um, uh, really made investors go crazy. The tweets came soon after a separate report that a Saudi investment fund had taken a stake in the electric car company. The effect on Tesla stock was dramatic. It shot up $36 a share in a matter of hours, but it prompted questions about whether Musk broke any rules. Elon Musk is a very uncon unconventional communicator, very similar to the way uh, President Trump, for example, communicates with his constituents constituencies um, goes outside the norm. Um, in this case, it's hard to make a case that he did something wrong um, in the sense that he communicated with everybody at the same time. Musk has long been frustrated with having to answer to the stock market while his company ramps up. In a letter to employees, he said, as a public company, Tesla is subject to wild swings in its stock price, and that has been a major distraction to workers who are all shareholders. In my opinion, that is a, a good move because I think he's doing a lot of innovations. All of this was happening just as Cigar Devetti was securing the delivery date on his new Tesla Model 3. He sees it as a positive for Musk and the company. And he's a lot under pressure to ha make happy the uh, shareholders. But I think going private, he has a uh, no, he has less pressure, and he can he has room to innovate. Now, one of the things people are wondering about is how serious Elon Musk was in those tweets. You know, Liz, he did not say he was definitely going to do it. He didn't say uh, that it was uh, something that was happening for certain. He kind of left it out there, and that is making a lot of people wonder tonight, and I'm sure when the market's open tomorrow, a lot more activity when it comes to Tesla. Yeah, he wanted the attention, and he got it. Len, what's the downside of going private? Well, for a conventional company, the downside would be raising money. You know, you have the mm -hmm. initial public offering. You can have a secondary public offering. You need more cash. You go back to the investors. And a private company, uh, it's not as easy to do that. You have to have those uh, investors lined up yourself, and, and there's a lot less transparency. So some people are less willing to put their money up uh, if they don't exactly know if the books are not open. But for a company like Tesla that does things very unconventionally, uh, putting things on Twitter and so on, people really kind of have the idea they know what's going on in the factory back there so they might be more willing to uh, be investors and he said funding secured in his tweet so we'll see all right len thank you